like I said, we're afraid to suffer. And the, the scourge of modernity is our addiction to pleasure. And so as a result, nobody wants to fast. And they've been telling us not to fast for, you know, for the longest because one of the fueling forces in modernity is uh, consumerism. So you stop consuming, you know, you're, you're sort of, you're taking, you're leaking some blood out of the uh, modernism's machinery. So, but if we get back to tradition, there's always been fasting. There always will be fasting. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, just completed a 48 hour fast and felt great. Lots of clarity. How often do you fast? And would you recommend doing some sort of longer fast every few weeks? Currently do OMAD daily. So that's cool, man. Now, you got to ask yourself why you're fasting. And that's really, whenever we do anything, we want to ask ourselves, what is the reason why I'm doing this thing, right? Um, and any, everything can be used for good and it could be used for evil. And it's the same thing with fasting. And so as Ralph Waldo Emerson says, every action is measured by the sentiment from which it proceeds, the place it's coming from. And so these days, you know, if you're asking me, most of my fasting comes from my desire to commune with my creator, to be one with God and to follow his law. And as a Catholic, Catholics fast on Wednesdays and Fridays. It has been the tradition. It has been the tradition as long as the church has been around to fast. It's, a, it's an old tradition. And so as I'm in my bulking season, I'm bulking. I don't know if you guys can tell. Damn, I'm huge. This week I didn't lift and I didn't take creatine, so I'm a little deflated, not as puffy as I was last week. <laughs> um, I eat. I eat all day. You know, I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm breaking. I'm breaking all Arnold Eretz rules. Um, but it's because it's just fueling my workouts, and I'm getting strong, and I'm feeling freaking great. But I reserve Wednesdays and Fridays for fasting, and I just I do OMAD on those days. I also don't lift on those days. And while I'm fasting, I allow myself. Those are the days I go to mass, and those are the days I allow myself to be self-composed. I reflect on those days. I'm a little bit quieter on those days. I don't push myself so hard on those days. A lot of times I have tons of energy and I just do what I have to do, but I sort of reserve those days and that fasting period for reflection. I pray a little bit more on those days. And so that's, that's what I'm doing in terms of fasting for spiritual, spirituality, spiritual reasons, because God said so, right? Every religion, God tells you to fast. Part of the, part of the problem with maternity, with modernity, uh, is that, like I said, we're afraid to suffer, and the the scourge of modernity is our addiction to pleasure. And so, as a result, nobody wants to fast, and they've been telling us not to fast for you know for the longest because one of the fueling forces in modernity is uh, consumerism. So you stop consuming, you know, you're you're sort of you're taking, you're leaking some blood out of the uh, modernism's machinery. So, but if we get back to tradition, there's always been fasting. There always will be fasting. Um, in a couple months, come April, I'm going to start <laughs> bulking and, and I'm bulking now. What do you do next? Bulking and cutting, cutting, I'm going to be cutting. Um, I don't know if you can call it cutting, but I don't, I don't see myself staying puffy all year. This year, you know, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about going the whole year and just getting freaking huge again. Like I was when, you know. But um, I'm getting big so fast, I'm afraid that I might uh, pop. <laughs> so come April, I'll probably start doing some more, uh, much more fasting. Uh, I stay pretty, I stay at a, right around 200 pounds. Right now I'm like 230. I stay around 200 pounds if I just... Um, do 16-8 or like an 18-6. So like, you know, eating from like 2 o'clock to uh, 6, 7 o'clock or like from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock and just keep, keep in those small eating windows. That pro That's probably like going to be my lifestyle default. My lifestyle default will probably be small eating windows between like 2, 4 o'clock to like 6 to 8 o'clock. What is that? So 2... So let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, like four hour eating windows. 
four hour eating windows will probably be my lifestyle default. Like the rest of my life. You know how you have a default? Most people's default is breakfast, lunch, dinner. You know, now that I'm fast, now that I'm bulking, it's like I eat those on the days that I'm not fasting. Um, my lifestyle default probably for the rest of my life will be, you know, like a four hour eating window. I'll go back to that. I'll probably go back to that. Um, he also asked, do I think a longer fast every few weeks is a good idea? I do. I do at least once a year, at least once a year, like Lent is coming up and for, Lent is about 40 days. And so with that, it's a good, it's a good opportunity to like fast for a couple of days, you know, like, you know, what I was doing was last year or the year before when I was really fasting a lot. And I remember I said that like, you know, you gotta, you gotta, every action is measured by the sentiment from which it proceeds. I was fasting and all of a sudden it became, it became a pride thing for me. I could look back now and I looked at it and I'm like, wait a second. I was, I started fasting out of like, first it was for cleansing. It was for spiritual and health reasons. And then it became ego. So I had to stop. That's how a good thing turned bad for me. That's why I was telling you about it. Um, but what I was doing was I would start every Monday and I would just fast out as long as I could, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I would start eating again, usually around Thursday, Friday. I would eat through the weekend, always ate on the weekends. Then I would start again on Monday, and then I will push it out, and then I will do it again. Um, yeah, you could do that every three months, four times a year. That's a good idea, Danny. So um, it's definitely a good idea. Another thing, with all, all religions had seasons of fasting, too, the, you know, mostly Muslims are the most conservative these days. They actually follow their religion. Unlike in the West where most, most Christians do not follow religions. Part of the reason why I became, or not even became, but like acknowledged my Catholic, my Catholic roots is because traditional Catholicism is conservative. They actually follow Catholicism. And that's what I love. Um, but the Muslims, you know, they have um, Ramadan. Everybody knows about Ramadan, but nobody knows that, that Christians are supposed to fast during Lent. Um, with Martin Luther and the Protestant Reformation, all that stuff, a lot of that stuff just went out the window. Um, Martin Luther was like the, that's when emotionalism started becoming the religion of the day in the West, was through the Reformation because he just didn't feel like following the church. He didn't like the idea. He didn't feel good about it. So he started following is uh, started following his feelings, and so every other every other Christian denomination is just based off of emotionalism, to the point where you get to the Pentecostals, where they're just hooping and hollering and shouting and doing everything based on how they feel. Fasting is a way to uh, temper the emotions, calm down the emotions, take power away from the emotions. So it's a very powerful, powerful, powerful tool to set ourselves in order. So I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week, and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way, in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. And me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.